G'day, it's Chris Betcher here, and I'm taking you through my task four of the Adobe Train the Trainer workshop. Uh, and in this workshop, we're looking at InDesign, and I'd like to show you how to put the image blocks along the side of these three uh, pieces of text. And um, uh, there's an obvious way to do it. You can uh, click the, um, the frame tool here, and you can just draw three frames. But I want to show you a slightly different approach. Uh, so we'll go to the image uh, frame tool, and we'll just draw a frame up here. So I'll get it right to the top there, get that green line so it lines up nicely. And what I want to do is split this into three. Now, I could have just drawn three, but uh, this is a great technique when you're making uh, like grids and those types of things on the page. Uh, in the Windows menu, I'm going to Utilities and choose Scripts. And it brings up this selection of scripts, which are just little um, automated actions that you can apply. There's one here called Make Grid. So if I click that, you'll see it gives me the option to choose from a number of rows, columns, and so on. Now, in this case, I want three rows, because I want three, one below each other. Uh, there is only one column, so I'll change that to one. And the row gutter, I think about 16 would work here. Uh, columns is irrelevant, we've only got one column. And the frame type I want is a graphics frame and I want to delete the original object. So what will happen when I run this script, it'll create three boxes out of the one and it'll delete the original big one. So I'll click that and boom, there you go. So that's a really easy way to create multiple frames. Um, and you know, I've only got three here, so it's not a big deal. But if you had lots and lots, if you're doing like a grid, it's a really neat little uh, tool there inside InDesign. Now, I've got to populate these with images. So I can do that by going to the file menu choosing the uh, place option here. And I've got three images I'd like to use. They're these three right here. And you'll notice that when I do that, the cursor gets loaded up with three images. You might be able to make out a little number three there. If I use the left and right arrows on my keyboard, I can actually cycle through those images. So this one here, I want to put that in the middle. This is guided learning. So I'll just click into that frame and you can see it drops it into that frame. Uh, this one at the top here is for uh, the direct instructions. But you know, if I just switch to a different one, I can go down here and drop that one in that frame and I'll drop that one in that frame. And you can see they're all populated. Now, um, they don't fit very, very well in the frame, so I'll select them all, go up to the fit proportionally, uh, fill frame proportionally, and do that. And now they all fit beautifully. This one here, I think I'd like this to be just a little bit to the left so we can see that guy's face. This one here, maybe pull this back a little bit so we can see what they're working on. Uh, just like that. And this one here, I'd just like to be closer. So if I click that and then choose the uh, the edge of this brown frame here, which is the actual image inside the frame itself, I can make that larger and then just move it back into position. So I see that's pretty much pretty much the way I'd like it framed right there. So that's a really neat way to uh, take a large frame, split it into smaller frames, and then populate it with images using the place tool and the um, multiple images.